Well, hello. Boy, do I look glowy. <laughs> I look really glowy today. Man, oh man. Uh, well, hi. Welcome. So, obviously my background looks kind of funky because today we are going to clean out my vanity. I have quite a mess on my hands. After filming my best of drugstore for the year of 2018 and my best of high end for the year of 2018, shameless plug, both of those videos are linked below. Um, after doing that and my worst of the year, also linked below, <laughs> Uh, I have quite a mess. I have like all of these um, like bins full of makeup. I have like three of them. And then all of my drawers just kind of got disheveled over the holidays. Okay, over the past few months, let me be very clear. But especially like my everyday makeup drawer needs to be reorganized. So we're gonna kind of do it all. I'd like to get back into doing my everyday makeup drawer series that I started years and years ago. Um, I haven't done it in a long time, but now that I'm doing this full time, I'd like to get back into doing that every once in a while. Um, maybe five or six times a year. I think that would be plenty. But um, let me know if you'd be interested in doing that and me doing that by giving it a thumbs up. Okay, Jessica, you're talking too much. Let's get into organizing my vanity. All right, it's time. So I had a little bit of a, a costume change <laughs> because I just did, I don't know. I, don't you feel like you should be wearing like a hoodie or like a sweater? Look at this hood though, it's like, um, uh, anyway, don't you feel like you should be wearing like a sweatshirt or something comfy when you're organizing? Of course we all feel that way. So I'm going to be watching a YouTube video while I do this first step, which will be to take all of the makeup that's in these bins and they're actually bins that we use in Gigi's room. I stole some of them. <laughs> I need to take the tags off of some of them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take all this makeup and put it back into the drawers that they belong in. Uh, and then we'll go from there because I feel like I can't really organize the drawers until everything's where they need to be. You know, not me, not me. And we're gonna see if any of my favorite YouTubers have any new videos out. I'm still working through everyone's like best and worst of the year. I feel like I have so many in my watch later playlist, so I think I'll start there. So these are a bunch of products I am going to declutter. They're ones that, um, some of them I featured in my worst of makeup video. They're just ones that I'm not reaching for or they're ones I have similar shades in like this uh, CoverGirl uh, lipstick in Worthy is a nice lipstick. I mean, I kind of talked about it. I don't love all of the CoverGirl lipsticks. That's one I like, but I have so many, I have plenty of red lipsticks and it's not my favorite formula so I don't feel the need to keep it. This is how messes start. Same goes for this Lila B eyeshadow palette. A bunch of stuff that, again, were in my worst of video. Those are all gonna be decluttered, so I'm gonna put those in my closet um, to be dealt with in the future. I have two Rogue eyeshadow things that go in palettes. This is the Dose one. It goes in that that I decluttered. This is an Anastasi one. It'll go in there. Um, I have a couple products. My Derma E hydrating face cream I'd use a, many, many days. I love Derma E. So I might leave this out or I might put it in my everyday makeup drawer. We'll see. And then this is new, it's from e.l.f., their Hello, ha <laughs> Hello Hydration Face Cream. It's literally, I just got it in the mail recently, so I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm gonna stick that there to be dealt with here very soon. Why I'm out of breath, I haven't even like gotten up. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom you in. We're gonna look at my current status of my current everyday makeup drawer. You guys are gonna guffaw. It's pretty, but it's messy. <laughs> Um, so obviously this needs to be dealt with. Again, I think I'm gonna take everything out of the drawer and put it 
put most of it back where it goes. There are a few things that I always keep in here, you know, like pencil sharpener, always keep it in here. Certain things that I know it's like, this is the liquid liner I'm using right now. I don't have a bunch of them open. So certain things that are for sure going to be in the store, but the rest I figure I'll kind of pick out as I'm reorganizing. Um, perhaps I'll even do it in a separate video. We'll see if you're wanting to just see just the drawer because otherwise this video is gonna be very long. So we'll see, I might do that part separately, but let's get everything out of here regardless. So these organizers, I figured you'll ask, no, not sponsored, but they, I've bought a bunch from them and they've sent me some. It's this website called the Cosmetic Archive. These are really high quality plastic. Um, I know that sounds redundant <laughs> or uh, no, oxymoronical. That is not a word. <laughs> Or is it? Really high quality plastic, but they're really nice and they are made for Alex drawers. So if you have these, they literally fit perfectly. This they recently launched that like fits in so that it doesn't slide, but I actually think I'm gonna take it out of this drawer for now because I kind of need this room for other stuff. You'll see what I mean. So that's gonna move to a different drawer. I forgot I even had these back here. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we're cleaned out. I use the Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner. They have a lot of different scents. Um, I buy all my products from Grove Collaborative. I know I've talked it to death, but I love that website. I do have a referral link. You get like a five piece gift set, but it sells a bunch of natural stuff. I also am gonna use the Method Glass and Surface. I know a lot of you guys ask what I use, so I figured I would share. So this is clean, it's smelling fresh. Let me take a sip of coffee. I'm gonna pull some of these products back into here and then we will um, go from there. Okay, so everyday more makeup drawer is like halfway done. Again, I just kept a lot of that stuff you guys saw. And then uh, I have some room to add some stuff to it, which is exactly how I kind of like it, especially when I'm going through all of these drawers. So I might pull out a thing here or there to just toss in there. It, I mean, the reality is it's as easy to reach this drawer as it is any other drawer. So I don't worry about having an entire full face in that drawer. I just like to keep things I can grab really quickly, like that I know I use, or things that are newer that I want kind of in front of me every day so I remember to try them out and use them. So that's the point of that if I've never told you that or if you've never seen any of my everyday makeup drawer videos because it has been a long time. So let's go through these drawers and kind of reorganize the ones that need reorganizing. So looking in this drawer, there's not a lot to clean out. It's my concealers. Um, again, this isn't really a declutter, so there's not a lot, like I don't think there's really anything to get rid of. I don't really like this CoverGirl True Blend, but I wanna try it a few more times. That'd be the one that stands out that I'll probably declutter. But the rest of these I'm, these I'm liking and using, uh, all of those. Now here, I have like these glitter liners that I don't really use. Um, so I might put those to the side there. I have some single singles here. And if there's something you know I own and you don't see it, it's probably because it's either in my bathroom, in my purse, or just elsewhere. Um, cause I put my makeup, I don't always put my makeup on in here. So especially being a mom, I'm putting it on wherever I can find a moment. Um, again, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. 
I use all of these and none of them are bad. And then back here is uh, mascaras that are open. So honestly, I know those are fine. This one's fine. This one I know is dried out for sure. This is an old Lash Paradise that's dried out. Those are still kicking, so I think those will stay in there. Um, yes. Okay. I think I'm just going to keep this one. Uh, maybe I'll keep this glitter liner because it looks like a color. It's called Midnight Cowboy. Um, and then pass on the pink one because I feel like I would use this one. Okay, I'm not going to open it right now because it's going to break a nail. But um, So these can all go. All right, so this drawer is a little bit messier. It's my... Uh, bronzer, blush, highlight drawer, and then there's some palettes there. Um, I recently decluttered on my own without showing you guys because it was kind of one of those things that I needed to do it and I needed to do it right then. <laughs> so I've actually decluttered this recently, so there's a lot less than maybe you would have expected. I don't know, depending on the last declutter you saw, which was quite a while ago. I'll probably do another declutter the latter half of this year um, once this is built up and I've reviewed a lot more and I need to get rid of some, but right now I really, really I'm not seeing a single thing I want to declutter in this blush area. I just kind of wanted to straighten it up a bit. Maybe put those in the front. Okay, and then the bronzers, again, I don't think there's anything in here I don't want to keep. I just want to reorganize it a bit. So that's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but um, highlighters. Um, by the way, I said I looked glowy earlier. I'm using the RMS, uh, what do they call it? Living Luminizer. It's like this really kind of glowy, glossy stuff. I haven't talked about it in a while, but I really, really like it. Um, that's why my face looks so darn glowy. Uh, so again, I don't think there's really anything in here I want to declutter just yet, but let me do a quick double check. This is a newer product to me, the Buxom Divine Goddess. It's a cream highlight kind of kit and it's actually really pretty. I like to apply it with my beauty blender, like a damp beauty blender, just dip it into like, I like this shade Venus, it's really pretty. So I've been playing with that and enjoying that lately. So I think that looks good. Again, nothing I'm ready to get rid of, but at least it looks cleaner than it was. So this drawer is an actual mess. The problem is I have these giant palettes that take up a ton of room and they drive me absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna take all of this out and reorganize it. Um, so I also have powders in here I'll get to in a minute, I might need to find a new home for these because I can't reach them back there and it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna look for a new home for these instead of having them back behind the palettes because that's obviously not working out. So I've got some palettes I know that I love, my Anastasia ones. I wanna be able to grab these quickly and easily. Uh, Born to Run palette I do enjoy. Let's see. I think this tart, Tartlet and Bloom, I love this palette, but I just, I don't know. I feel, no, I want to keep it. I go back and forth, but then I use it and I'm like, oh yeah, I've had it for so long though. That's the only thing that kind of gives me pause. My Emily Edit, um, these are my Milani palettes. Those can go there. I really liked these palettes, but I, I don't ever reach for them. The blue one is gorgeous, but I know myself, I'm not big on those kinds of shades and I have plenty of warm tone palettes. Um, I might think about keeping it if this was a little bit more mustardy, this yellow shade, but it's a true yellow. So these are really, really good quality. I just don't need them in my collection anymore. I 
have these MAC single shadows that are really, really pretty, but there's this really silvery one I know I'm never gonna use in the shade Just Chilling. So that one I can get rid of. These three I wanna play with though. Um, it was from their like pretty shiny things collection. And then this I haven't tried out yet. I was trying to fit it in my everyday makeup drawer, but I don't like that it sticks up. So I'm going to still put it in here. And then this one too. See, these are like awkward sizes, you know. Maybe I'll stick it there so I see it. So this leads me to the problem of the giant palettes. So that. Goodness gracious. I guess I can put it underneath this, but see, then I'm like never going to reach for it. Um, but that that's exactly what always happens. The Jaclyn Hill one, I actually reach for a lot. I wonder if it would fit like if I keep it sideways like that. Nope. Why is so big though? All right, fine. It goes under there. So there we are. Not too bad. And then these are my Z palettes with single shadows in it. So down here is actually just like um, hair things to hold my hair back. I've got skincare and stuff like that back here. I have brow stuff and liners because again, once I have the brow product I'm using, I don't really need it. Um, I usually just keep one in my everyday makeup drawer and then I don't need to keep reaching for that. So I just kind of hold them there. And then these are uh, obviously some wipes that I use to wipe swatches off, things like that. So. I think this drawer really isn't going to change. I usually have more washcloths kind of stacked there, um, which it just works out. It's kind of a catch-all drawer, but it's got some organization, at least organization that I know in my head. So this works. I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so this drawer, I have a bunch of gross, dirty beauty blenders. Those need to get clean, so I'm just going to take them out. The beauty blender holder. Um, this organization works really, really well. I have my setting sprays here. I've got you know more setting sprays some of them are more like essences um, and then i have my oils here and i might just toss oh nice that fits um i feel like i'm missing some of my oils anyway um so again this works out really well for me i use this drawer every single day i like that it's right here on my right hand side but i'm wondering if i could fit my powders here and then i would see them i would use them <laughs> what a concept That could work. And then just maybe keep the gross, dirty beauty blenders thing there. And then maybe the holder there. We'll see if that works. Again, I feel like I've got a powder that's, maybe it's over in my, oh, I have some in my everyday makeup drawer. If that will help make up the difference, I will. Ooh, that works. So there we go. Oh, love when things work out like that. So this drawer really, again, it, it that works. So this drawer has my primers. This is one of my favorite drawers. Um, but I do feel like I need to reorganize this. Again, I can see everything, so it's not as big of a deal, but I'd rather have, like I have moisturizing things. I'd like to have like uh, moisturizing ones just together, pore filling ones together. Those are all pore filling. Let me pull a few out. So like, I think maybe I'll put like ones that are simply for moisture here. Um, ones that are more glowy, but not like, ooh crazy glowy I'm gonna put here those are pretty glowy mm -hmm. ones that are more like serum -y will all go together there this is another mattifying one this is mattifying. these are glowy um let's see again I would say that's glowy without being too glowy so again it's not the prettiest organization but it will totally work for what I'm using it for Tatcha one is just so awkward. <laughs> so this is my foundation drawer. Again, I need to organize this. I have some room here. This is another one that I could use this extra thing in if I wanted to, um, if it would be helpful. I'm trying to think of what I would use it for. So I might think about that because I might not even need it. Um, but, so let's see, I have stick foundations. These are kind of like weird things. So like my custom cover drops and like things I don't use as often, the hourglass, I actually really like this. Uh, keep those together maybe back here. Um, cushion, it's the only cushion I currently have. I really like this L'Oreal Illumi cushion. Let's see. The problem is I always end up with a couple of shades of things uh, because if I ordered online and I'm not sure and I'm reviewing it in a video, I'd like to be as close as I can get, you know, um, or I'm sent, you know, a couple shades maybe from a company. So 
I'm thinking I might put like my BB Cream E products back here. I have a lot of my Misha Beauty BB Cream. Uh, these are more like BB Cream. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna use this. So I'm actually, I just put my BB creams up here because again, I use BB creams more than anything and it's nice to have them just like right there where I can grab them very quickly. So now I'm thinking I want to have, I might get rid of, I really like these CoverGirl ones, but I just feel like they have that little white thing. Maybe I'll just keep one shade instead of keeping two. I think I'm gonna keep L15 and not keep both of them. Um, just because I really, really loved the way this looked on my skin. I was so surprised because I don't usually like matte ones, but it has these little white, they all do, all the shades I've used have these little white specks in them every time I put it on my face. So, I, but I still really like the way it looks, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, but I wanna put my like moisturizing foundations together. So like I love my Physicians Formula, that's what I'm wearing today. CoverGirl Healthy, or yeah, Healthy Elixirs, the, Cogen Doe Aqua Foundation is really uh, luminous. Put those there. Um, my Revlon Candid, oh, I really like this. I think I consider that. This I could almost put here, but it really does have pretty high coverage too. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put my fullest coverage in the back. I love my Clinique Beyond Perfecting, but I only use it a couple times a month because it's really high coverage. Um, so I don't feel like I need to use it that often, you know? This Becca one I haven't tried yet. I'm almost positive it's gonna be way too yellow on me. But I'm gonna still try it, but I'm gonna put it back to full coverage for now. This is another one I love, my Rimmel one. I don't even think you can get it in the States anymore. It's super full coverage, and it's also a little too dark for me this time of year, so I'm gonna put it back. My La Mer. These milk makeup ones are like crazy, um, crazy high coverage. I was so surprised I like these too, but Again, these are way too, these just aren't the right shades for me. I'm gonna keep fair and get rid of light fair is a little bit more neutral. Again, it's still not my perfect shade, but um, yeah, I don't need both, that's for sure, because neither one is the right shade for me. <laughs> um, I could probably make a decision on these as well, so I don't have to keep both. I think I was mixing these though, and they ended up being perfect, so maybe I will keep both for now until I kind of figure it out a little more. Light Illusion I love, my Charlotte Tilbury I love. Um, there we go. And then I've got some, just a bunch of other ones I love. I'll just toss in here, really. This Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Double Wear Nude. The Double Wear should go in the back. The Double Wear Nude can go up here. That one's a little more uh, moisturizing. Okay, so that's much better. I can see everything. Nothing's like stacked necessarily on top of each other too much. Perfect. So, whew, my lip drawer. Um, there might be some things I'm gonna get rid of in here, because again, a lot of them I just tossed in here, but I want it to be more organized the way I had it originally, which was like lip balms, lip liners, and then lipsticks separate from glosses, separate from like stains and matte liquid lips, which I don't have a lot of. So let's tackle this. So a couple things I'm taking out. This went bad about a year ago. It's the Nukes Rev de Miel uh, lip balm. It's amazing. This I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. It's a metallic CoverGirl one and I don't like those. These two actually belong in my bathroom. I use the Laneige lip sleeping mask at night and then I also use the water blending lip oil when I'm getting ready in there. So those are both gonna go. 
And then I took out about six things that are brand new. Some of them I'm going to pass on, others I'm going to uh, put in my backup drawer. So like, I know that the Noonie Apple Butter Lip Mask I'm obsessed with, that's why I have a backup. I really like the Drunk Elephant Libby Balm. So those I know I'm gonna put in my backup drawer, but some of these I think I'll pass on. But here I've got, I had to get a separate little thing for lip balms and lip scrubs in the front so that I could spread everything out. So I still have my lip liners back there. I have my lip stains, all of my Lancome ones. And then like, this is actually a dose of colors, matte lip color, things like that. And then I have glosses, but then I didn't really have room. So I put like glowy lip products that I really like. I put those with it. Um, and actually these are technically kind of glowy lip products too, but here we are. So, and then I have all my lipsticks. So that worked out again. I could pretty much see everything I own, which is, Fantastic, that is the goal. And then this bottom drawer is actually all of my brushes. So I have uh, actually these little tinkle razors uh, because apparently if you want to dermaplane your own face, these are what people recommend. So I have those, um, I guess I could put those in there. And then actually this is a product I wanted to try. I just stuck in here because this is my brushes. So these are all clean. I have the space here for dirty brushes actually. So when they get dirty, actually, I have an idea. Why don't I put my sponges down there? These three are dirty, so those can be down there to be cleaned later. Um, but yeah, so this works out. Obviously, sorry, I've got cords and stuff everywhere. This works really well for me, so I'm just gonna leave that be. done guys I cleaned the surface I even cleaned my laptop off um, I definitely need to clean my brushes soon I haven't done it in probably you know what I don't even want to say how long if you're curious about how I clean my brushes I did do a video on that and what I think are the most effective products so I can link that below again it wasn't that long ago but that was definitely the last time I cleaned my brushes um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video I had fun making it it's gotten really dark outside it's only like 2.15, maybe th going on 3, 2.40 p.m. And it is like dark. You can kind of see out my window in the mirror. I don't know how to point there. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed. I feel so much better now. I'm like looking at the other half of my room like, okay, now I need to tackle my like office area where I actually like, edit video and do that kind of work. Like I said, let me know if you are interested in me doing the Everyday Makeup Drawer series again. It's sort of like a shop my stash, if you think about it that way, because that's really what I'm doing, but I also am incorporating some newer products in there too, so it's not always um, like old things I've had for a while. You guys know what I mean. Okay, I gotta end this video somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you'll subscribe if you did, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of more casual style of video, and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.